Hello again, so we have reached exercise 2, which is the calculation of x power n. So we need to write a function called x for exponential to calculate x power n, where x is of type double and n is of type integer and it's a positive number. So we are not considering here the uh, cases where n is negative, for example, 2 power minus 2. So and we should return the value of uh, x power n. So let's take a small example. So if we have 2 power uh, 3, so we need to do 2 multiple 2 multiple 2 three times. So obviously we'll be doing a for loop that loops from uh, 1 to uh, the exponential to n and then do the multiplication. However, so uh, we do the multiplication and we know that whenever we do multiplication we start from 1 because if we have for example x uh, power 0 or anything power 0 its value would be equal to 1 and then I will multiply 1 multiple 2 multiple 2 multiple uh, 2 so let's uh, start so we need to write the uh, function x so it returns uh, double of course and we need two uh, parameter x and n so x is of type double and n is of uh, type integer so we need to do a loop so we need a counter so let's call it i so we will loop from uh, 1 uh, to n or we can uh, uh, not use i and work on n since n is equal to 3 I can uh, decrement n to equal to 2 and to 1 so I can start from n till uh, greater than 0 so I will remove that so it's, it will work like this so at each time I will decrement n and I will work as long as n is greater than 0 so for example if we take this example here and if the power is equal to 3 so I will do uh, 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 the third iteration the second iteration and the first iteration so I will do it uh, three times however for the uh, answer so I need uh, so let's call it result so I need a variable so we should initialize initialize this variable so let's go let's start from one so it's double so there's no need to place zero and each time I will uh, multiply a result by uh, x and of course I will return Result. So this is the uh, function to calculate x power n where n is a positive uh, number. So if it's not positive, so we will solve it uh, in this exercise. Just let's uh, uh, test the function uh, x and then we'll move into uh, modification of this function. So we need to enter uh, a double uh, value and an integer value. So let's call it double. So we, we can use the same x and the same n. So just pay attention that the x here is different than the x here and the n here is different than the n here because we have a variable, two variables x and n in the function main and we have two variables x and n also in the function exponential and they are not the same. So the user would enter uh, uh, two variables. So I will not do uh, do while here, even though for n you can do a do while because the question is to enter a positive uh, number. So enter x. So I will skip this. And if you want to do any of these, you are free to do that. So uh, for the double, so it's lf and its address of x, capital X. And we need to enter n. So I will copy paste uh, these functions this calls so enter n so n should be positive so you can place it into a do while and i will read and then i need to call the function so i will directly print f so i will say percentage point to lf i will use the power notation percentage d is equal to a percentage point to lf and backslash n so the first one is the value of x the second one is the value of n and the third one is the value of the exponential of x power n so let's take an example so i will take the same example here so 2 power 3 so uh, d expect to be of type integer so yes so we have here a warning for the exponential so exponential it takes x which is double and n which is an integer uh, so he, he confused because there's already a function called exponential so let's call it exponential one so i will stop it just to be sure not to confuse with the uh, math because the math.h it contains exponential so as you can see uh, uh, the percentage lf it expects a double of type double but argument 3 has type integer so 
so we have here a percentage not a dollar so let's run so let's enter two and three so two power three is equal uh, to eight so now now let's let's modify a bit and let's say that the user can enter a negative uh, number so again if i have two power minus three so it's equal to one over two power three so i will i will always do the same for uh, the, the same calculation so however i will do a small test here so if n is negative so if the value here is a negative so i will uh, do the other calculation so what i will do that is uh, i will do the calculation for minus n however i will return one over uh, uh, two over three so this is for the case where it's it's positive so let's say if n is greater or equal to zero i will do that otherwise so it's one instruction the for loop otherwise i will do uh, uh, other stuff so let's place a result inside uh, the fun inside the if because I, there in the, in the else part i will return one over a result so here i'm calculating x power n x power n so it's x power n and n is negative and n is less than zero so so n is less than zero so i have two and minus three however i need to calculate two power three so i need to change the sign of n so let's do that so I will start so result is equal to one and i will calculate i will do n times so n is equal to minus three so i will do minus three minus two and minus one so as long as n is negative and i will do n plus plus so let me repeat so we have two uh, minus three so n is equal to minus three i will do minus three minus two minus one so those are three iterations whenever i reach zero i will stop each time i will calculate a result so i'm calculating this one and at the end i will return one over res so one is an integer res is double so the answer would be double so let's run this again and uh, enter uh, two and minus three so we have ended with 0 0.12 so this is the complete solution of the exponential whether it's equal so let's run again with it was with an exponential equal to zero so the answer would be equal to one so let's say two power zero it's equal to one one why because we have here n greater than zero and you have started from res equal to one we didn't uh, execute any iteration of the loop so we have returned the answer res so this is the writing of the exponential now i'm inviting you to write it recursively so here i will call the function x uh, rec so it's a recursive so how can we solve this recursive so i will do uh, first the positive one so n is positive so that we do not uh, place too much instructions so the same uh, prototype obviously we should have the same prototype so uh, we have x and y x and n sorry and we need to calculate the exponential so obviously we know the stopping condition because in both cases i'm uh, going down to zero and i'm if it's negative i'm going up to zero so and we know that if i have as i have told you here if i have any number power zero it will be equal to zero it will be equal to one so what i will do that is uh, since i'm decrementing these obviously i will reach a day where the exponential is equal to zero since i'm doing two power three then i'm um, then i'm decrementing this so it's two multiple two power two it's equal to two power two power two power one and it's equal to two power two multiple two multiple two multiple two power zero and i know that i know this number so the stopping condition here is whenever we have n is equal to zero so if it's n equal to zero the answer of the exponential is obviously equal to one so i will return one so if it's not equal to zero and we will suppose here that n is positive so obviously the answer would be x multiple the answer of x the exponential recursive between x and n minus one so let me show you so if i am calculating 2 power 3 it's equal to 2 multiple 2 power 2 so this is the recursive call so this is the call of uh, x and n where n is decremented by 1 
Again, this one is equal to 2 multiple 2 power 1. So this is the function exponential recursive. And again, 2 power 1 is equal to 2 multiple 2 power 0. And this one, it's obvious. This is the stopping condition, and it will end. So let's call this function and see if it works or not. So we have 2 power 3, and yes, it's equal to 3. So if you, if you can see, and if you manage to write those stuff, it's very uh, uh, easier than writing it into uh, from an in, in, in interrogative because it needs less uh, instructions. So if we want to uh, rectify this recursive function in order to uh, deal with the negative end, so we know that it's very easy now, so I would just uh, talk a bit in order if you if you can figure it how how you can what to what to modify or what or what to add so we know that if i want to calculate uh, a negative uh, exponential to power minus three is equal to one over two three so i know so if n is equal to zero i will return one so if n is is less than zero so what i should do is that i will return one over the answer of the exponential x but not n it's called a minus n as easy as that because whenever i'm co whenever n is negative and minus a number negative it will be positive so i will never enter this uh, function this instruction so let's rerun this program with 2 minus 3 so we have the same value as we have done it in the iterative, the iterative one, so it's equal to 0 0.12. So this is a very nice exercise to work with recursive uh, functions. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me. And of course, I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.